guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, April the 18th, and I have a hankering for something sweet and something chocolate. So what better to satisfy that than to make some homemade chocolate fudge? So let me get my recipe box, which I showed y'all yesterday, which was a gift from my mother, a wedding gift in 1971. And let me look for my recipe for fudge. Oh, here's one for divinity. <laughs> We'll make that one day. Um, and here's my old fudge recipe. I've probably had it for at least 45 or 50 years. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to just make it in my old saucepan, which it could use a good scrubbing, but it's not going to get one today. So it's two cups of sugar. So here's one cup. Just regular, um, you know, white granul granulated sugar. So that's two cups sugar, and then Hershey's cocoa, and um, it's going to be four tablespoons of cocoa. So that's one, two, three, four. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, and a dash of salt. Just a little shake of salt. And then a cup of um, just regular whole milk. Okay, so we're just going to mix all of that together. And then cook it on low. Um, it says combine sugar, cocoa, milk, and salt. Stir until sugar is dissolved. Cook until a small amount forms a soft ball in cold water. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is what it looks like in the pot. So I'm just going to stir this until, uh, you know, the chocolate and the sugar and the milk kind of all gets mixed together. So anyway, um... You know, when I got out my can of Hershey's cocoa, I was thinking about Milton Hershey and, um, you know, when he started his um, Hershey candy factory back in the uh, 1800s. Um, I have been to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, actually, when Hurricane Sandy hit in 2012, it was in October. So it'll be six years, I think, this year. Um, I was um, doing elder care, and I was taking care of a, a man who was 100 years old. And um, y'all know that we all live here in a beach community. And um, his house was actually closer to the beach than, than my house is. So we had to evacuate, and... Um, um, he lived in an apartment that was attached to a, a huge home there in Seagirt, New Jersey. And um, his daughter lived in the big part of the house. And then I lived with, um, with the 100-year-old man. His name was Marco. Um, he did live to be 102, but when I took care of him, he was in good health. I mean, he, he was a pleasure to care for. Okay, so we're just going to let this cook here, and I do have a candy thermometer, which this has saved me much, many batches of candy. So the soft ball stage is right there, about 250 degrees. Now, I bought this at Goodwill. I paid 99 cents for it, and it is worth its weight in gold. Um... But before I got the candy thermometer, I would usually cook the fudge for about 20 minutes. And then, um, you know, try to take out a little bit of it and, and see if it made a soft ball in, the, in some cold water. And probably nine times out of ten, it, it did not turn out very well. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to let that cook. And then... um. Let's go in the living room and see if we can tell some stories. So 
So anyway, uh, like I said, you know, Hershey's Cocoa, um, you know, it is made in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania, the Hershey Company. Um, now, Milton Hershey, I was, I was reading about him. I, I love history. Uh, that was my major in college. The one semester that I went, it was my major. But I, I love history, so anything to do with it. I love to tell stories about it. But, um, you know, Milton Hershey, he was born in the eight, 1800s. And um, in, I believe it was Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And um, his daddy liked to wander, so his, his father wasn't at home very much. So Mr. Hershey, he had to leave school in the fourth grade, so he really didn't get much of an education. But um, he went to work for a printer. And while he was working for the printer, he dropped his hat in one of the machines, and he got fired. I believe he was 14 years old. So... <laughs> Now, his father did talk the printer into hiring him again, but um, Milton didn't want to work for a printer. He, he was interested in making candy. So, um, you know, there are a lot of dairy farms around Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and there was plenty of fresh milk, you know, to, to use to make candy. So Milton went to work for a confectioner's, uh, a caramel company. So he learned how to make you know, milk, milk, um, caramels. So, um, I don't know the entire story, but he, he ended up, um, I think he did go to work for a chocolate factory. Maybe it was in New York. He, he traveled a good bit to New York and New Orleans and in different areas to learn how to make the chocolate. And, uh, that's when he started the Hershey Milk Chocolate Company. And, um, so anyway, when we went there, um, it was on a weekend, so I didn't, we did not get to tour the chocolate factory, but I, I do want to go back one day, and when I do go, I'll, I'll do a video. But, I mean, the whole town is centered around chocolate, Hershey's and chocolate, and, I mean, the streets are called Chocolate Avenue, uh, Cocoa Street, you know. Uh, he, he was a philanthropist, and he gave his entire fortune to the Hershey School, which um, he and his wife, Kitty, uh, never had any children. Um, so they devoted their life to the Hershey School, which started out as an orphanage for boys. And um, it ended up that he, um, you know, willed his entire trust, to, which was millions and millions of dollars, to the, the Hershey School Trust. But Milton and his wife Kitty, um, she was ill. And so they had spent uh, the winter in Nice, France, and um, I believe it was 1915. Um, well, he had bought a ticket for them to return um, to New York, and the ticket was to the White Star Lines for the Titanic. And it just so happened that he had some business that he had to take care of um, early in April, so he had he canceled his um you know the the reservation that he had made for the Titanic he canceled it and then he returned from Southampton England on the America which was a German liner uh early in April and um you know if it had not been for him having to come back to the United States on business you know he would have um probably died on the Titanic but anyway, he made it back to America, and um, and then he, you know, con continued with his philanthropic, um, you know, everything that he did for that town. So if any of y'all ever get a chance to go to Hersey, Hershey, Pennsylvania, it is definitely worth it. So I'm going to go check on my fudge. Now, this is going to have to be in two videos because y'all know I don't do any editing. So um, I'll come back with video number two when the fudge is ready. Thanks, guys. Bye.